Hello everybody, TJ Horse Girl here, ready to talk about um, Planet Zoo's announcement for their next um, update and DLC pack. Um, they're announcing a Grasslands Animal Pack. Uh, so here is the trailer for that. <laughs> Looks like we got armadillos. That's a red mane wolf. Emu. Cow was loud. <coughs> got a wildebeest. And butterflies. They're gonna add butterflies. That is amazing, people. Okay. So that's the trailer. Comes to you on December 13th, and we'll go over the update as well. So, what is hiding in the tall grass, you ask? A plethora of fascinating wildlife that calls the steppes, plains, and prairies across the world home. Say hello to the nine banded armadillo, which their armadillo is where I live, with extraordinary armor. The maned wolf with its impressive long legs, the curious emo with its recognizable gray plumage, the agile and elusive carcal, the remarkable red-necked wallaby, the scavenging striped hyena, and the striking blue wildebeest. These come with new and unique behaviors like the nine banded armadillos preening and sniffing. I wonder if they're going to have them roll up into a ball too. Or the carcals bouncing and floppy ears. We're sure... My dog has floppy ears. It's cute. One floppy ear. We're both sure you and your guests will enjoy these new species. In addition, you can also add a stunning assortment of five colorful species of butterflies. So they're finally getting into the animation of flying, which they did with the bats. So that's good. To populate your walkthrough exhibits, including the cloudless sulfur, European peacock, Melinus Blue Morpho Monarch at Old World Swallowtail. I actually raised a monarch when I was in uh, elementary school. We raised it from a caterpillar and to a butterfly and then released it. We had to name it. I named mine Wilbur. I don't even know if it was male or female. But we had to give it a name. So every time I see a monarch now, I say, there's Wilbur! Because for all I know, it's a descendant of my Wilbur. Um... These flying insects can be kept together as the game's first ever interspecies compatible exhibit animals. That's cool. So we can basically put all five butterflies in one walkthrough exhibit. I wonder if they're going to add a new type of walkthrough exhibit or if it's going to be the same one as the, the base one for the bats. But my dog was going to start barking. I was like, no. You, you will also be able to test management skills with the brand new career scenario. I guess they're listening and adding more career scenarios instead of the timed ones, because um, I don't like the timed ones. I know some people do. I do not like the timed ones. Set within a pic picturesque grasslands of Argentina. You'll be working alongside wealthy socialite Tiffany Summers to help her learn the importance of animal care and animal sanctuaries and special conservation and species conservation. I can read. You'll be relocating the diverse. I promise I can read. You'll be relocating the diverse inhabitants of her sprawling mansion to a more suitable home, new home. We're sure your zoo management magic can make life much better for these animals. This new career scenario follows after the career scenario from the Twilight Pack, which I haven't finished that one yet. That one was hard. And we're incredibly excited to continue this narrative. Don't worry, though. You won't have to have played the previous career... Good lord. Don't worry, though, you won't have to have played the previous career scenario to follow the story, and you can jump completely in fresh if you want to. That's good to know. So I'm guessing that's what it's going to look like. So it looks like the main red main wolf is right there. Emu's over here. It's probably the armadillo. Or the wallaby. Probably the armadillo. Planet Grassland Animal Pack will be available for purchase for £7.99 or $9.99 on Steam from the 13th of December. If you want to be notified when the game is available, then head over to Steam and wishlist it now. It's wishlisted. 
Please remember that you'll only be able to enjoy Planet Zoo Grasslands Animals Pack if you only already own already own the base game. Goodness gracious. Of Planet Zoo. I have the base game and all of the DLCs. Don't forget to join us on social media channels for upcoming animal reveals and the run-up to the Grassland Animal Pack. Blah, blah, blah. We hope you've enjoyed this announcement. Uh-huh. I definitely have. Okay, here's the update. Hey, zookeepers. It's beginning to look like a Planet Zoo update. It's time to celebrate exciting new additions coming to Planet Zoo, including free update 1.12, which is headed your way December 13th, December. Keep on reading to find out what you can expect in this new update. So they're adding guided tours. So they've added um, free roaming talks, and now they're going to have guided tours. That's pretty cool. It's time to give your guests a VIP treatment with the new guided tours com coming. What? Guided tours are a brand new way to offer guests a more in-depth information Offer more in-depth information about your zoo and your exhibits. Tours are personal and will be conducted by an educator. They will then guide your guests through the zoo and educate them with lots of wonderful facts about your animals as well as life at the zoo. Guided tours are completely customizable, which means you will be able to plan out your guest journey throughout through your park by placing tour points at desired destinations. That's cool. This means guests will be specifically guided to habitats you assign them for your tour. Specific, good, I can read, I promise. I promise I can read. I'm getting ahead of myself. This means guests will be specifically guided to the habitats you assign them in your tour for them to admire in the places they stop to recharge their needs. A, you can, a unique and unforgettable experience each time. So you literally could have a, several tours going. Like if your zoo was divided up into continents, for example, you can have one tour guide go through Africa, one tour guide go through Asia, one tour guide go through Australia, etc. Or... One tour guide just takes them around to the cats, or one tour guide takes them around to the um, hoofed animals, things like that. That would be cool. The VIP treatment also means more opportunities to earn additional income for your zoo. Guests will have to pay an extra tour fee in addition to the zoo entry price, and will also spend money to take care of their needs during tour breaks or after with their desire to spend relating to how well they rated the tour as well. There you go. Now, if you've seen this guy on YouTube... If you haven't, I suggest you go check him out. He does some good stuff. That must be amazing, man, to get to know that Planet Zoo likes likes your work so much that they actually took something you did and they're going to apply it to your, their game. That is amazing. Congrats, Rudy. That is awesome. Diamora Mode inspired one of our Planet Zoo community members. I'm not even going to try to say his last name. Rudy. Ren Ren no, I'm not even going to try. We're introducing the new Diamora Mode. A new type of terrain for you to create your very own diamoras. You can select this new terrain in the sandbox mode and it will provide you with a blank diora that you're free to build on as you like. Then you can upload to Steam Workshop and share it with the rest of the community. That's cool. Congratulations, Rudy, for getting that added to the game. That's awesome. It means they're paying attention. Way to go, Frontier. Good job listening to your... Um, your um, people out there. We've also made removing things from your zoos a little faster. Thank you. By adding a bulldozer tool in the update 1.12, it is now faster than ever to remove large amounts of scenery, paths, and objects in your park. You also have the ability to mix and match what type of object you want to remove the bulldozer. That's cool. That we can finally remove paths and things like benches and um, donation bins at the same time because that would be awesome. Ooh. So sorry. Combining the functionality to remove multiple types of items at once using one tool is sure to make the experience of building and rebuilding more satisfying and streamlined. As always, these exciting new features in 1.12 come with various fixes and qualities of life additions, which will be included in the full patch notes upon release. We'll have some more news for you soon, but until then, join us later today, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go over more detail. That is awesome. So the big thing in this is the guided tours and the, the this that this guy got added to the game. That is awesome. Way to go, Rudy. Uh, like I said, if you haven't checked out Rudy's YouTube channel, go check it out. He makes some awesome builds. Um, 
and a lot of his stuff, you can, I think you can find his stuff on, on Steam. Um, yeah, but so this looks like, this is what the career, kind of a snapshot from the career challenge. So I'm betting this is the entrance. They come through here. They've got something here. Like I said, probably the armadillos or the wallabies. Those are definitely the main wolves. We got some more over here. And then I can see the emus right there. Looks like there's a baby emu right there too. So that's cool. Yeah, they're really, they're armadillos in my area, and it's really funny because my donkey, um, actually was chasing one one day, and the neighbors were telling me about it, and, um, at the back of the pasture, there's this little, um, drain, but it's got a cover on it to make sure the animals don't step on it and fall in it, um, and eventually it squeezed under there <laughs> to get away from the donkeys, because it tried squeezing, and it went into the neighbor's yard to get away from them, and then came back out for some reason, and the donkeys kept trying to mess with it, and so it finally squeezed under the um, the drain to get to go down to the drain to get away from them. And of course, you see these poor guys dead on the road all the time. But that's cool. So anyway, yeah, that's that's all I got. Um, so we played the trailer. Um, went over. What we got, so we've got armadillos coming, the maned wolf, the emu, the carcal, the wallaby, the hyena, another hyena, a striped hyena, and the blue wildebeest. And the butterflies. So that's cool. I wonder if they've improved the flying, because the bats, honestly, the flyings, they kind of hang there most of the time. And then I've noticed one when they start flying, at least... Sometimes I've seen when I actually pay attention, they start flying, they just keep flying, they don't stop. At least, maybe it was a glitch in the game, but... So I'm hoping they've improved the flying with the butterflies. And this will be great, because I actually have downloaded a, um audio that talks about butterflies, and I can finally use it in conjunction with butterflies, as opposed to just, you know, in a neutral spot that doesn't really have anything to do with anything can actually probably add it to the um, education speakers as opposed to the music speakers. I love challenge ones better than the timed ones, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, so yeah, it looks like Tiffany Summers got in over her head and had animals at her mansion, and now we're moving them. I wonder if that's the, ooh, that looks like a walkthrough. I wonder if that's the walkthrough for the butterflies. I just realized that. That looks like a walkthrough. Yeah, people are going in there, so I bet that's the walkthrough for the butterflies. That just occurred to me what that was. Ha! <laughs> That looks like that might be staff. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's something else over here. Can't really tell. Anyway, comes out in 10 days. Because it's the third, so we have about 10 days to wait. So, uh, go wishlist this if you want it. And just know, um, your games are set up to automatically download. Like mine, i got a download that just happened here, and it did it automatically. I don't even know what it is. I have basically two games, as you can see, or three games installed. I have Planet Zoo, King's Quest Collection, and Tavern Master, the only three I have installed. So you can see what games I have over here. None are 
install. I need to finish this one because I was doing videos on this one and um, I need to finish that. And maybe I'll do a video on that. Eh, I don't know. This one gets boring after a while. It's fun, but it gets boring after a while. It's not as interesting. You just have to sit there and wait for things to happen. Money to be earned. And research to happen. This one started back in the 80s. Um, and you can actually, it's kind of nice because you can see the progression from King's Quest 1, which is you could barely make out any anything. And it's type-based. It's text-based, so you have to type everything. 1, 2, 3, and 4, you have to type everything. And then starting in 5, 6, and 7, um, it's click-based. So you don't have to type. I was doing videos. I did videos on 6 or on my YouTube page. Excuse me. I'm not working. I need to get back and finish 7 because I did. I posted a f like the first two or three chapters on 7. And there are six chapters. Maybe I'll do this one. I'll download this one and do some videos on this one. I haven't done this one in a while. I have Sims, but they're on another gaming platform. They're on Origin. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, but I'm excited about this. And I think, don't armadillos roll into a ball? Because I'm hoping they keep that one. Yeah, you can see in this one how long the legs are in these, these wolves. Yep, so anyway, um, take care, everybody. I'm going to ride on out of here. Take care.